the big issue, I think, in, uh, in this Olympics, and it, it already started today, is the fear of, of uh, terrorism, the fear of sabotage. Uh, this morning, or was it uh, yesterday, uh, that uh, uh, trains, uh, I think three of the main train lines going into Paris were sabotaged. Uh, fires were set to some of the electronics that uh, manage the, the train networks and, and cause the trains to stop and to halt and to go back in some cases. People were stranded. I think the, the train companies uh, rallied to get buses and put people on planes and somehow get them to Paris uh, for the opening ceremonies. Some of these people were athletes, so it wasn't just uh, spectators, but also athletes. Uh, so so a, a big issue uh, is sabotage. Already at least one Russian was arrested uh, under the suspicion that he was planning to sabotage the Olympics. Hard to tell who did the train attack. Uh, was it uh, Islamists, Iran? Was it Russians? Russia has been doing all kinds of sabotage stuff um, uh, in all over Europe. Uh, recently, I, I, I talked about that on one of the shows. It, was it the Russians? Uh, was it uh, something else? So uh, hard to tell, uh, but uh, it, it could also be the left in, uh, in France that are not happy with uh, Macron and, and the way he's setting up his government. It could be, it could be the right, the, the, the right in France that are not happy with how the elections turned out and, and feel like the elections were manipulated in the left's favor. So uh, France has a lot of enemies. France is in disarray. It could be the yellow shirts or the farmers or the God. It could be so many different people. So uh, right now, uh, the opening ceremonies are going on. There are 45,000 police uh, and another 10,000 members of uh, French special forces or military forces protecting the, uh, the opening uh, event at, at the Olympics, the, the 350,000 people watching this live on, on the, uh, in Paris itself. Uh, it, 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 there are, because everything's on the water, there are fast patrol boats. Um, uh, I, I, I've seen pictures of, you know, armed, fully armed, fully ready for combat, uh, uh, special forces operators on speedboats going up and down the river, uh, making sure they're also scanning for uh, submersibles, uh, uh, submarines, I guess. You know, there's this, uh, you know, this is somewhat not relevant, but funny anyway. There is uh, a movie out uh, in France. I, what did I see it on Netflix, I think, somewhere. Uh, it, it, there was a preview of this movie. Is a movie uh, uh, that's been running in, in France, maybe in the U.S. for a while now. Uh, it's about a, um, uh, a, a a shark attack in the Sien. Uh just as 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 the long distance swimming competition is going on, and there are these swarms of sharks. It's like a shark that is breeding hundreds of sharks, and it, it's like a horror jaws type special forces trying to kill all the sharks and protect the swimmers kind of movie. And, and yeah, I guess, I guess the French are ready for that. They've, they've got special forces patrolling the river and also scanning under, under, the, uh, under the surface to see if there are any autonomous submarines coming to do, create havoc uh, uh, during the opening ceremony. There, are, there is some challenges about the Shan with the long distance swimming. Uh, they found a bunch of E. coli in the water. The swimmers have to get in the water and swim for a couple of events. Don't know how that's going to go. We'll see. Uh, I, I haven't heard if, if that's been canceled or shifted or moved or whether it's going along or they're, they're filtering the water before it enters. It can do that. So I'm not sure what's happening. But uh, anyway, I, I do want to say this. I love the Olympics. I, I, I think the Olympics are super fun, uh, challenging, exciting. Uh, you see, uh, sp uh, you know, athletes at the, at the unbelievable top of their game. I used to watch, I love watching Michael Phelps uh, swim. I mean, he was so good. He was so dominant. 
And he took his sport so seriously. He trained for it. And, and of course, he won more gold medals than I think any other athletes in history. Uh, it, it, and, and the same with all of them. I mean, it's just, it's just primarily the individual, um, individual sports, just to watch them. The, the, the gymnastics is, is super fun this year. Uh, it, it, what's her name is coming back uh, after she had a disastrous Tokyo Olympics uh, where she where, uh, bail uh, uh, bails what's her name uh, God uh, anyway she 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 withdrew last year for mental health reasons she just wasn't up to it mentally sports is mental activity uh, in addition to it being incredibly physical anyway she is back uh, pretty old for a gymnast. And yet she's the favorite to win everything, basically, in gymnastics. And that's going to be exciting to watch and fun to watch. I, I, I love watching the gymnastics, the women gymnastics, primarily. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to, I'm going to try to watch as much Olympics as I can. Again, I still haven't figured out which of the streaming services are going to make it possible for me to watch as much of the Olympics as I can. But I, 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 I'm looking forward to it. Um, and, uh, and, uh, God, you guys are completely Olympic sport. Simone Biles, thank you. Rudons, you've resurrected my faith in people on the chat. Usually I ask a question of people in the chat and I get an answer within seconds. And, uh, it was like gymnastics, well, you know, Olympics, athletics. What are you talking about? You're on, come on, people get a life. Gymnastics, it's fantastic. Simone Biles is amazing, one of the greatest athletes ever. And, uh, and if she can get her head together and, and, and stay focused, she's going to crush it. I mean, really, really crush it. It's on NBC, so I need to figure out if any of my... I don't have any local channels, so I need to figure out if I, if I can get, like, a, if I can stream NBC somehow without having the local NBC. It's complicated not having local channels. They, they, they try to force you to do it, but Puerto Rico makes it very difficult. Um, streaming on YouTube, but YouTube TV, I think, not on YouTube, YouTube. So anyway, I'll figure it out. I'll work on it tonight after dinner. Uh, that'll be my mission. Uh, uh, try to figure out, so I'm not watching any TV shows right now. Nothing excites me right now. I'm not watching any, anything, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I should, be, should be ready to do the research necessary for that. I've got a bunch of research also to do uh, uh, for other stuff. So, anyway, um, this is going to be uh, maybe the most guarded, the most protected, the most nerve-wracking Olympics in a long time in terms of uh, security. I don't, think, I don't think people were too worried about the Tokyo Olympics, uh, you know, and, uh, but uh, this one, Paris, right now, in the 21st century... I think Macron, originally, the idea was this will bring Paris together, this will bring the French together. I, I really think this is, uh, you know, this is like the worst time for France to be doing this, and, and everybody must be, uh, must be really, really, really um, nervous about it. So uh, it, I wouldn't, I, you know, I, I don't know if, you, if any of you are in Paris. That would be interesting if any of you have gone to the Olympics or, are there to watch it. Uh, I would never go, uh, not because it's Paris, but because it, the, the crowds would drive me crazy. I'm, I'm not big on crowds. But um, I, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great time and I hope you stay safe. I hope you stay safe.